Hello students, welcome to Physics Fact. Today we discuss about real depth, apparent depth, normal shift, and atmospheric refraction. So let's start the topic one by one. So now here we discuss about real depth and apparent depth. Students, first one, why the underwater objects appears to be closer? Look the picture. Here that coin is at the bottom of the water but appears to be nearer to us. The actual position of the coin is at the bottom. Here that object is the real object but it appears to be some nearer to us. And here that object is the virtual object. Now we Go through this phenomena details. Consider that here that coin is placed at the bottom of the water. This one is the water medium and having refractive index mu w. And here this one is the air medium, refractive index take as mu a. The coin is placed at the bottom of the water at position O. Consider two ray O A O B ray starting from O. One ray is passes normal to the interface or passes normal to another medium. So there is no deviation occur. AD is the refracted ray. But here OB is little bit oblique and obliquely incident on the interface. So here this angle at the point of incident, we draw normal and this one is the incident angle. Here, this line and this line is parallel to each other. So, this angle of incident is equal to this one. Okay, students. Now, this OB is the incident ray. Passes from denser medium to rarer medium. Here, water medium to A medium. So, this one is the actual path of the incident ray. But, because of the ray passes from denser to rarer medium, it deviated its path and went away from the normal. Here BC is the refracted ray. So, when here is a person, see that ray, it appears to be the ray comes from this point. And here image is produced. And that is the virtual object. It appears that coin is here. This one is the virtual object. So this total distance from interface to the real object, this depth is known as real depth or this distance is known as real depth. This one is known as real depth. And here that object is appears to be here. And so this depth that the distance from interface to virtual object, this depth is known as apparent depth. Now students, in denser medium, that real depth is greater compared to the apparent depth. Or, see, or we say that the apparent depth is less than the real depth. So that underwater objects appears to be closer to us. Okay. Now here we discuss that what is the shift occur. That shift is occur in the normal. So this shift is known as normal shift. In the previous class we discuss the lateral shift. Here we discuss about normal shift. Now we determine the normal shift. So that normal shift is equal to real depth. Minus apparent depth. When ray passes from denser to rarer medium. When ray passes from denser to rarer medium. That due to that apparent depth is less than real depth. So normal set equals to real depth minus apparent depth. So here students we determine another formula for the refractive index of two 
medium with respect to the real death and apparent death. Using Snell's law, we know that according to Snell's law, this one is the angle of incident and this total is the angle of refraction. As this one is the angle of refraction and here this rays meet here, so this angle of refraction and this angle is same. R. Okay? We know that sin i by sin r here students. Sin i by sin r equals to mu a by mu w. Sin i by sin r equals to mu a by mu w. And that is represented by mu a w. So here we determine the refractive index of air medium with respect to water. So student first we discuss about sin i and sin r. What is sin i? Students here. If we take this one is angle theta. So this angle is b. This one is p. And this one is h. In triangle o a b. So first we did. In triangle o a b. We will turn just step by step. In triangle o a b. If we take sin i, that sin i equals to p by h. That means a b by a b by o b. Okay. Next. In triangle i a b, i a b, that is sin r equals to this one. Sin r equals to same here. This one is b and this one p and here this one equals to h. So, sin r equals to p by h. That means a b by i b. a b by i b. Put the value of sin i and sin r in this equation. So, we got mu a by mu w equals to sin i that is a b by o b. Then sin r that is a b by i b. a b a b cancel. So, here mu a by mu w is equals to i b by o b. Okay, that means if we take in reverse condition, mu w by mu a is equals to o b by i b. What is o b? O b and i b. So students, here that b is very near to a. B is very near to a. B is very near to a. So, OB is equal to OA or IB is equal to IA. OB is equal to OA. B is very nearer to OA. So, OB is equal to OA and IB is equal to IA. So, put this value in this equation so that mu W by mu A is equal to OA by IA. So, OA is the real depth and IA is the apparent depth and mu w by mu a that is represented as in the form of mu w a. Okay, that, in, that means refractive index of second medium with respect to first. Refractive index of water with respect to a that is equal to real depth divided by apparent depth. So, on the basis of this analysis, we conclude that equation that mu 2 1 or mu w a is equal to real depth divided by apparent depth. Take us the refractive index of water mu w is take us this one equals to mu. Any value you put the value of refractive index of water that is mu. And we know that the refractive index of a medium mu a equals to 1. So mu by 1. That mu w equals to mu and mu a equals to 1. We put the value that is equals to real depth divided by apparent depth. So here we conclude that mu equals to real depth divided by apparent depth. Then what is apparent depth? That apparent depth is equals to apparent depth is equals to real depth divided by Put the value in this equation. Okay. That means normal seat is equal to real depth minus 
minus real depth divided by mean. So real depth, your real depth take as common. Real depth into 1 minus 1 by mean. So what is real depth? That real depth is OA. OA is the real depth and that is the thickness of this medium. So thickness of this medium take as T is the thickness of this medium or depth of this medium put T into 1 minus 1 by mu. That is the normal sleep depth. Okay students. Now consider that ray passes through combination of medium. That means here this one is the A medium, water medium and take as here is the glass medium is place. This one is the glass medium. Okay. So here this one refractive index mu A. Here refractive index mu W. And this one is refractive index mu G. So here that's total thickness T. But here we take as this thickness A cuts T1. And this thickness A cuts T2. Then what is the total normal shift? First we evaluate the normal shift for this medium and the normal shift of this medium. Then we combine this. So what is the normal shift? The normal shift T equals to sorry. The normal shift take as the normal shift D. D equals to D1 plus D2. So what is normal shift? We know that normal shift T equals to 1 minus 1 by mu. So here T1 into 1 minus 1 by mu W. Then plus T2 into 1 minus 1 by mu G. Okay students, this one is the total normal shift. In example 1, the refractive index of glass is 1.5. That is, mu G is equal to 1.5. And that of water that mu w equals to 1.3 if the speed of light in water that v w is equals to 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second what is the speed of light in glass you determine the velocity in glass medium so students we know that first one in general mu 2 by mu 1 equals to v 1 by v 2 so here mu w by mu g is equals to mu w by mu g is equals to v g by v w mu 2 by mu 1 equals to v 1 by v 2 okay take us the first medium is the glass medium and second medium is the water medium so it clear okay mu 2 by mu 1 is equals to v 1 by v 2 then what is the velocity of the glass medium that v g is equals to mu w by mu g into v w. So mu w by mu g. Put the refractive index of water medium and the glass medium. That refractive index of water medium that is 1.3. Glass medium that is 1.5 into velocity of water medium that is 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Okay. Then you simplify this one. You got velocity of light in glass medium. Okay. Now go to example 2. The velocity of light in glass is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Velocity of light in glass. Vg. That is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And that in A that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. By how much an ink dot appears to be reached? Because this one is the ink dot. When covered by a glass slab. 6 cm thickness. If this one is the glass lab, then this thickness, the total thickness T equals to 6 cm, then how much that ink dot appears to be reached? Okay. This one is the apparent position. Then how much this one is increased? So first one students, we determine the refractive index of this glass lab. We know that mu g by mu a, mu g by mu a equals to v a by v g. Okay, that mu 2 by mu 1 equals to v 1 by v 2. Then, refractive index of 
air medium that is equal to 1. Then diffractive index of glass medium we determine. Then VA velocity that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. And velocity of glass that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Then 10 to the power 8 cancel 3 by 2. This one equals to 3 by 2. That means refractive index of glass lab that is 3 by 2. We determine this refractive index mu g. Next, we also know that mu g by mu a according to that real depth and apparent depth. That condition mu g by mu a is equal to real depth divided by apparent depth. Students, you remember this formula? 2 by mu 1, mu 2 by mu 1 is equal to real depth divided by apparent depth. Where here we consider that rarer medium have refractive index mu 1 and the denser medium have refractive index mu 2. You remember this one. Okay students, then mu g by mu 1 equals to real depth divided by apparent depth. Then what is the real depth? The total thickness of the glass slab. This thickness, this distance is the real depth. Then what is mu g? Mu g equals to 3 by 2 and refractive index of air medium that is 1. Real depth that is 6 cm. Then what is apparent depth? You calculate that apparent depth. So that apparent depth equals to 6 divided by 3 by 2. Then this one 6 into 2 by 3, 3, 3 that cancel. That apparent depth equals to 4 cm. Then what is the sift? occur that sift equals to the total total depth that is 6 cm apparent depth that is 4 cm so the sift is equals to real depth minus apparent depth that is 6 minus 4 that is 2 cm okay go to another example an ink dot appeared to to be raised by 1 cm then it covered with a glass slab of thickness t centimeter. That means take as this one is the actual ink dot, but it appears to be raised by one centimeter. That means here in that question, that normal shift is given. That normal shift is equal to normal shift is equal to one centimeter, and the total depth, the real depth is t centimeter you calculate the value of t that means you calculate the real depth well the velocity of light in air medium and in glass medium is given the velocity of light in air medium that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and velocity in glass medium that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second you determine the real depth for students, we know that according to that formula, that normal shift is equal to real depth into 1 minus 1 by mu, where that mu is the refractive index of second medium with respect to first. So here students, in the first condition, we here take that the rarer medium have refractive index mu1 and the denser medium have refractive index mu2. Here in air medium refractive index mu a and glass medium refractive index mu g. So mu21 that is take as mu g a. Okay. So mu g a that means that is mu g by mu a. The refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium that is equals to v a by v g. Okay. Next you calculate that mu g a or that is mu 2 1 is equals to velocity of light in air medium that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second divided by velocity of light in glass medium that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So that refractive index of glass medium with respect to air that is 3 by 2. So we got that refractive index of glass medium or the refractive index of second medium with respect to first. We put the value in this equation. That normal shift that is 1, 1 centimeter. 
Then real depth, we don't know the real depth. Then this one equals to 1 minus 1 by mu. Mu equals to 3 by 2. Put the value 3 by 2. And simplify this one. Okay students. So this one equals to t into 1 minus 2 by 3. Then 3 goes to here. The 3 minus 2 by 3. This one equals to 1. Then 3 minus 2 that is 1 by 3. The t into 1 by 3 equals to 1. So t equals to 3 centimeter. Okay students. So that means here that thickness of the glass slab that t equals to 3 centimeter. Now here students we discuss some day to day life phenomena. Then we see that in night stars are twinkling. Then why the stars are twinkling? We see the sun before the actual sunrise also after sunset. Why this is occurred? These are the examples of atmospheric refraction. So we go to discuss about atmospheric refraction. What is atmospheric refraction? It is the deviation of light when it passes through the atmosphere. When light entering the Earth's atmosphere, it continuously deviates because we know that the Earth atmosphere is consisting of number of layers. The uh, we know that troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, ionosphere, light exosphere. Here every layer have different density. Every layer have different density. So every layer have different refractive index. Okay. As we goes nearer to the surface of the earth. As we goes nearer to the surface of the earth. Take us this one is earth. Ground surface of the earth. As we goes nearer to the surface of the earth. Density gradually increases. As density increases, that refractive index is also increases. Take us here in this one is the vacuum medium. So here that refractive index take us mu one, and for the second medium, second layer take us refractive index mu two. Nearer to the ground layer, take that refractive index mu three. So here that nearer to the ground, which layer is present? that have more denser and the refractive index is maximum compared to the other layers. At every layer refraction takes place. So at every layer light deviates. We know that the light is propagated in a straight line path. So it appears to be the star is slightly above its actual position. The this one is the actual position, but the star is appears to be slightly higher or slightly above than its actual position. And this one is the apparent position. Also what happened, that apparent position is not constant because the density of the layer, density of the layer continuously changes due to various factor like temperature, pressure due to various factor. The density of the every layer continuously changes. So the refractive ind index of every layer is also changes. As the refractive index is continuously changes, so the di difference between the apparent position and actual position that difference is also continuously changes. So that stars twinkling or the stars are very distant position from us. So it appears to be very point sized image, very point sized source of light and due to the density changes that is the density of every medium that is not constant star which is appears to be above then its actual position that is not constant. So twinkling of star this phenomena is happening. Next one we go to discuss why sun is visible before actual sunrise and after sunset. Take this one is the sun. Take the position S. This one is the actual position.
position of the sun just below the horizon. Just below the horizon. Take this one is the ray which is starting from sun and enters the earth atmosphere. When it passes the earth atmosphere, here gradually density is increases. Density increases. That means here the ray passes from ray rod to denser medium. Ray rod to denser medium. As the ray passes from ray rod to denser medium, at every layer it undergoes refraction. At every layer it undergoes refraction or deviation occur. So here the ray went towards the normal. When we are on the earth, it observed that that light ray is propagated in a straight line path. So the sun is appears in this position. S prime. We know that the light ray is propagated in straight line path. So it appears that the ray is coming from this point and sun is appears to be at position S prime. This one is the apparent position of sun. And here the apparent shift, that apparent shift is 0 0.5 degree apparent shift occur. And the time required to cover this shift that is 2 minutes. So sun appears to be raised early by about 2 minutes and appears to set late by about 2 minutes. So the total timing is 4 minutes. So the day is longer about 4 minutes. Also we can see the sun extra 4 minutes. This is all about the phenomena of atmospheric refraction. Thanks for watching the video. If the video anyway helping you, then share with your friend circle so they also benefited in this lockdown period.